Hey, check it is. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hey, look at this lighting. The sun is giving. The sun is giving. I just, I slept so good, chickadees, last night. Like, I just, oh my gosh. Last night, I was actually able to get a full eight hours of sleep. Yes, I was. I have not gotten, like, full eight hours of sleep in probably, like, I guess probably since, like, su like Saturday. Like, Saturday night. Okay, that doesn't sound so far-fetched, but, like, for me, I need sleep. Like, do you guys see my skin? Look at how much it cleared up overnight. I swear to you guys, chickadees, like, look at my other videos and you can see my skin has just been crazy. It finally is like clearing up. And then my arm, like, I'm not gonna go crazy, but it was hurting really, really, really bad yesterday. And it's not, it, I can still feel it a little bit, but it's not like, it's not annoying to where like, I constantly feel something. Like, yes, I feel it when I'm moving. But besides the fact, I just woke up so like refreshed today and like, I'm off today. We are getting a tattoo. And by we, it's me, not you. <laughs> um, I hope that like there's like, hopefully I can like, like vlog in there like a little bit. Like if I remember, um, everyone like fingers crossed and pray that like I find a parking spot down there. Like I want to like drive my dad's car down there, but I'm like kind of afraid to ask him. I don't know why I'm scared to ask him. He'll probably, I mean, I know he'll say yes, but it's just like, I don't know. Daddy, can I drive your car to the city? <laughs> okay, so I took the day off, um, which I'm so thankful and glad I took the day off because, bitch, I really needed it. Like, whew, I was seeing, like, messages, like, angel numbers, like, crazy yesterday. Lots of 222s, lots of 3333s, three, 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 um, 7777 seven, 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 and 6677. Six, six, seven, seven. Like, ridiculous amount. Uh, lots of twos. I already said that. Um, so, I think everything is kind of, like, settling now. Like, there was just so much craziness going on from Sunday to Wednesday that I think, like, okay, it's going to settle down. Like, at work, okay, y'all, so here's the tea. I'm not going to apply for the new position um, because what my, like, the guy who I work with, he's on the interview community, and they're already looking at applications for, like, people from outside. And then I also found tea that there's another guy up front who's going to try to apply for the job. So I'm like, oh, there's way too much competition. I already know that's going to mess with my psyche. Like, I always get stressed out in those situations. That happened to me at Wegmans. And look, we're through a time shift right now where, um, you are going to be presented with situations from 2020 that are very similar. And you need to recognize that these are very similar and the outcomes will be the exact same thing if you do what you did last time. Back in 2020, I was working at the grocery store. I will never forget this. I tried applying for a full-time position at the grocery store two times, two times I tried applying. The first time I got through all the interviews and they gave it to this other privileged prick who's, um, whose dad was a store manager in a different state. So it's like, I was well qualified for the job, but that guy got the job solely because his dad is a store manager. So it pissed me off and it filled me with rage and it made me hate the company because I didn't get the job. And then I, then there was, I started the application process for a second full-time position, like back in May, it was for a pharmacy technician. I was like, girl, I really don't want to do this. But like my supervisor and manager was like really encouraging me. And I ended up not doing it because there was another girl there. And she was like, um, like she was just, she wanted it really badly and I knew that like if I had applied for it I would have gotten the job and I just was thinking like I don't know like I feel like she deserves this you know like I don't know like it's just like and I guess that's like very like bad like game theory of me like why would you surrender to someone but I that's just who I am like 
if I personally feel like this is an opportunity that's better suited for someone else, I'm going to let them have that opportunity. I'm not even going to compete against them. I will remove myself from the race to make it easier for them because I don't know, like, I just feel like things are meant to happen for a reason and some people deserve things. And like, if you are responsible for getting in a way from someone else succeeding, like, I don't know, that's just chickadees. I don't even know what I'm rambling about right now, but anyways so if history repeats if i were to apply for this position it would just be like 2020 and i would not get it someone else would get it who just has a better connection with the people on the interview committee then i would get pissed off and it will mess up with my self-conscious and I, no i'm not gonna do it and the girl i was talking to yes yesterday i was like talking with her i was like kind of debating if i wanted to do it or not and she was like you know you know the girl in your position before you, she did say, you know, that your job's easy and my job, would, that position would be, you know, you'd still have downtime, but probably not as much as you do not have now. And I was like, girl, T. And then she also was mentioning, she was like, you know, you probably just want to like, you know, put your head down, focus on school and just, you know, really just get, get out of here. And I'm like, you are so right. You are so right. Like, I'm overcomplicating these things because these people were just like, I don't know. I don't know. I cannot listen to the outside sources. Like I just have to focus and follow my guide and trust my gut. And my gut is telling me, do not do it. My, like, I don't know. And, but the issue was I did a tarot reading and it was like, I pulled out the death card, which basically means like it could be a death to my position because I'm like expanding my career but it could also be a death to the idea of choosing that job so it's all in how you um perceive it so I try to clarify it and the clarification was the page of pentacles and the eight of swords and with the eight of swords it's almost like you're blindfolded and there's all these um like like um like thoughts and ideas around you and it's almost like you're sur like you have surrendered yourself and so, but with the Ace of Pentacles, it was kind of like, or Page of Pentacles, it's kind of like a beginning um, step of financial prosperation. So, I don't know. I could have interpreted it either way. Maybe I'll do another reading to see if I'm making the right choice, but I think I am making the right choice. I'm trusting my gut and it's like, I, like, I have been stressed. I have been so stressed lately with school, with work with life, with working out, with this injury, with, you know, relationships. And like, I don't think I can handle the stress of taking on a doom position and not knowing anything. Like, I just, I don't think I'm ready for that right now. Not right now. Like, oh my gosh, my arm is like starting to hurt. Just like think about it a little bit. Okay, y'all, let's go get our coffee and our donuts and I have to go to the ATM and I'm running behind schedule because I need to be I needed to be back home at 10 so I could start meal prepping but see look at me I'm stressed <gasps> I'm stressed already all right let's go. guys today's already shaping up so much better than last week like oh my gosh remember they didn't have my donut redemption oh baby look at the size of this thing Period. oh my gosh oh my gosh I want to save this for later, so I'm not going to have all of it, but... Oh my god. Oh my god, shut up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, and then... Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's... Why is he going so fast through the parking lot? What? Wow. Okay. Let me go to the ATM now and get my at home. We're on our way to the tattoo appointment. You guys remember this car? I said, Daddy, can I drive your car? I'm scared. I don't want to park my um my car. I don't know how to, I know how to parallel park my car, but there's like, okay, so there's one street that I usually always like I pretty much always have a parking spot on, but it's tight. It's tight. So I was like, you know what? Let me ease my anxiety and let me just ask to borrow my dad's car. Okay, we on our way. Oh my god. Oh my god. My seatbelt just like loosened. <laughs> okay, I'm. Okay. Chickadees, you hang up. No, I'm. I'm gonna hang up. No, you hang up. 
No, I'm gonna hang. I'm gonna hang up. Okay. I'm hey, hanging chickadees. Up. What's tea? Um, I hate this lighting, but I literally just got back from the tattoo shop. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I. Um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed because I didn't really get, sorry, there was like a person like parked next to me. I'm like, of all the places to be parked, they got to go right next to me. So I, I don't know how to do with this. Like, do I want the sun in my face and like burning my face as I do this? Or do I want to have this visor down? But anyways, okay. So I got, I hate this lighting. So anyways, I got this peacock tattoo, right? Well, I wanted the t the tail to be very like light and like flowy and like I wanted it to look really pretty. Like the tail of a peacock is kind of like the whole reason why that bird is so like majestic and beautiful. And he did like an all black tail. It's all black. Like I kid you not, it's all black. It's ruined it's ruined there's nothing I can do about it like it's it's ruined and I'm like I'm speechless like I'm actually speechless I'm like I wasn't bothered but like now that I'm talking about it like and thinking about like wow like the whole reason of a peacock is the fucking tail and I just got screwed out of having that beautiful tail on my body like oh my god wow wow and then not only that like it was hella expensive it was very expensive and I knew it. I knew it. They, they are renovating. They're adding an upstairs and they're getting more tattoo artists and they're, you know, changing the lobby up and they're doing all this stuff. And you know what that means? They're raising up the percentage that it costs for the artists to work at the tattoo shops, meaning they're going to start charging more for the tattoos. <sighs> so I'm just like, really like, wow, like this is just, it's funny because I feel like wages for like people who work um like nine to fives like full-time or like food service stuff like that like people who work for corporations their wages don't get adjusted for inflations but people like hairstylists um tattoo artists like people who are um who set their own prices they get to adjust their prices according to inflation and i just like that like kind of bothers me a little bit because it's just like I love that you guys can adjust your prices for inflation, but my wage is not getting adjusted for inflation. So now I'm paying double, uh, paying double essentially. Uh, uh, but besides that, oh my gosh, like she's glowing, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Like I'm grateful. Like I am grateful. You guys know me. Like I'm a Virgo. I'm very judgmental and critical, but at the end of the day, it does look really good. Like at the end of the day, it does look really good. And after it heals for like six months and the the intensity of the blackness starts to fade, it'll look really nice. Um, and it'll it'll hold up really well instead of it being like an all colored um, tail. It, it will definitely, um, over the years, it will hold up. And I think that if it was color, it would be too much saturation of color on this leg. Whereas like the black kind of adds like, um, it adds like a different like depth and direction to my leg. So I actually do like it. Not me like, I don't like it. And now I'm like, well, I do like it. And it's, you're probably like, oh, chickadee, you're just convincing yourself to like it because you don't like it. No, that's literally not it. Like, I am like, I'm grateful for, you know, the artistry and the talent that goes into it. Like I said, it's just personally, in my mind, I imagined I was going to get something that was a little bit more similar to what I had brought, to the, you know, brought to the table. But I got something a lot different than what I thought. And you know, that's okay. Sometimes it's okay for things to not be perfect. And like, that is like a beautiful thing I'm learning and just, you know, it, that's just is what it is like. And while I was there, I wish I filmed while I was there. There was these two like really mean, like Coke head girls that came in, like they gave in, they gave very much like, um, like Pulp Fiction, um, nineties poem, like nineties poetry, like Mary Jane docks and tights with like berets and cigarettes and wearing your like circle sunglasses inside. They were very bitchy and I was just like, oh my god, like why are these bitches here? Like, ugh. It's so crazy because the older I get, the more misogynistic I sound. Ah, is that bad, chickadees? Ooh. Ooh. Like I like I honestly have the full stance of HRH collection where I'm like, 
a lot of women are really like stupid. Yes, they are. They're stupid and they're tacky. Yes, they are. I don't like groups. I do not groups. No, I do not. I am an individual. I like to be alone. <laughs> But I, what? So, uh, blah, 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 blah. this time, so usually I never like scroll on my phone when I'm getting tattooed. But this time I was on TikTok and baby, the pain, I barely could feel it because I was too busy laughing. Thank gosh, my For You page literally like knew, okay, this queen needs to laugh right now. Tell me why there is an entire 15 slot, 15 page slideshow of Diary of a Wimpy Kid edging. Like, the whole like lore of the story is like he's like becoming the edge lord like he's becoming a sigma edger like ah! i was like wow okay well so you're probably like where are you and why are you sitting here talking okay well i'm waiting for my food i placed it for pickup and the place doesn't open till 5 it's 5 20 right now and like my pickup time's for 5 30. So, like, I don't think I'm going to wait till 5.30. I think I'm going to wait till, like, 5.25 to go inside and get my food. Um, but, yeah, so. I'm just so gagged. I'm gagged. I'm gagged down. And then I felt like a bitch because, um, they were playing Lauren Hill. I think it was either, it was Lauren Hill. It was either Lauren Hill or Faith. No, it was not Faith Evans. It was Lauren Hill. But her music was like gives me anxiety. Like I'm sorry, but that like neo like it, her music's not even neo soul technically. It's just very like woke black woman vibes. Like just I'm totally gonna get canceled for saying that, but like it's just like very like it was very like sappy like love music too. And like I just don't want to listen to that right now. Like I really don't. And like her vocal range and then like the the um. The, the the notes what do they call it the key that her songs are in that key oh my gosh so many artists use it it gives me anxiety it it actually is i'm pretty sure low vibrational music i would not be surprised if someone did like a spiritual person did a deep dive on her music and came out that it actually is low vibrational when it's supposed to be like uplifting and like inspiring but yeah so anyways let me go ahead and get my food before these people think i'm crazy bye Don't get me wrong and um, then being like I said what I said. Do you see what I mean? I'm not an evil person. I'm saying that I said what I said in regards to the truth about something. And if you're going to act like you're dumb, if you're too dumb to understand that that's the truth, then just get the fuck off of my face. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. 